The following NBC Sports program is brought to you in living color. Hi, this is Pamela Anisich, Rose Queen, to welcome you to the 1969 Rose Bowl game from Pasadena, California. NBC Sports and the Pasadena Tournament of Roses Association takes this opportunity to wish you all a very happy new year. The San Gabriel Mountains overlooking the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. Happy New Year, everybody. I'm Kurt Gowdy with Kyle Rote. The only time two undefeated teams have met in the Rose Bowl history, the number one and two teams in America, the Heisman Trophy winner, O.J. Simpson, an enthusiastic, speedy, talented group of Ohio State sophomores. Kyle? Well, it'll be O.J. Simpson against Ohio State's Jim Otis. And, of course, Rex Kern, their fine young quarterback from Ohio State, against Steve Soggy for Southern Cal. Ohio State is favored. Southern California doesn't believe it. We'll see. All right, let's go down now for the toss of the coin at the 50-yard line. The Ohio State co-captains are 56. Dirk Warden, who's injured today, won't play. Dave Foley is number 70. Mark Steyer is 54. And the co-captains for USC, honorary captains, will be Steve Soggy, their quarterback, number 6 and O.J. Simpson, number 32. Ohio, let's see, it looks like USC has won the toss. Simpson says they want the ball. The wind is no factor today, very little breeze. Ohio State will kick off from your right and USC on your left. We're very sorry that we missed the opening ceremonies here. They were unbelievably beautiful, but the Sugar Bowl game ran late. But we'll tell you all about it later on. 79 degrees in Pasadena today. Here are the officials. The referee is Charles Moffat. The umpire is Richard Lowell. The head linesman is Paul Kaminsky. The field judge will be Lou Lehman. And the back judge is Rudy Hansen. First down. On their 29. Saki, number six, will be the quarterback. Simpson, 32, the tailback. The fullback, the blocker for Simpson will be Dan Scott, and the slot back will be Jim Lawrence. Spread Lawrence to the other side. O.J. Simpson coming through with a 35. He averaged over 35 carries during the season of game. Backer, number 63, made the stop on him. Dickerson is the split in. O'Malley and Smith are the tackle. Kosijian and Lehmer are the guards, and Allman's the center. It's slot right. Third down, four to go for Southern Cal under 35. They give it to Simpson, and he's, I don't believe he has it. He goes to his 38 and a half with Stillwag in the middle guard and Schmidl in the left tackle, 68 and 74, making the stop. And the Trojans are going for it in their own territory. Fourth down and a foot. And jumping is Stillwagon. And he, in quotes, he hit the USC player on their own 44 first down. O.J. Simpson crossing the 50 and going to the Ohio State 49. Mac, Mark Steyer, the linebacker, number 54, brought him down. Lineman, I really don't think know where he's going to go, although there is a predetermined area. But he makes his breaks and is, determines his cut so right at the last minute. Simpson again. He stopped. Fumble! Soggy falls in the ball. USC recovers. Now let's see if the whistle will blow, though, on the 49. It had. He's broken 11 USC records, played only two years. Here's Simpson outside. Oh, how he's hit there at the 49. Number 32, the rover, Jack Tatum, came up to grab him along with Tim Anderson, the right halfback. It averaged 33 points a game. It was undefeated. Rex Kern will be the quarterback. Leo Hayden, the halfback or tailback. Otis, the fullback. And Zelina is the slot back. Jankowski flanking to the right. Leo Hayden rattles out. And comes out to the 24. Larry Zelina, who's averaged nine yards a carry, a very nifty runner, Probably the best open field runner on the Ohio State team. 
gets the Buckeyes a first down. And there's a takeoff from their, their normal fullback slant play with Zelina coming back on a reverse from his slot back position. That fullback slant play is what Southern Cal is going to have to stop. If they can stop that one on one blocking in the middle of that line and make Kern take it wide, this is what they're hoping to do. The slot back. Kern fading. Tries to get out of that pocket. He couldn't find anyone open. And he's dropped on his 19-yard line by Al Cowlings, the right end, number 72, and Willard Scott, number 71, the right tackle. Still couldn't do it. A fake by Kern. Kern, a good runner, though, is knocked to the turf on his 21 by Al Cowlings, a junior from San Francisco. So Ohio State fails to move, and now they'll be going into a punt formation. No score, eight and a half to play here in the first period. Steve Soggy barking no signals. Simpson carries the ball for the sixth time in the game, 45 to the 50, and O.J. goes out of bounds on the Ohio State 47, taken out by Tim Anderson, the right halfback, number 26. And here's that play again. Soggy handing off to Simpson, getting some good blocking. Fred Kasigian, number 64, making a good move to the outside. And Tim Anderson driving him out of bounds. State 47. There goes Simpson in motion. Soggy for his first pass. Throws on the run. And it is good to the 36-yard line to Sam Dickerson. The split in. And he's hit by Doug Adams, number 63, the linebacker. Dickerson, a sophomore with blazing speed, runs 100 in 9-7. I'm going to shatter that record. Mark DeBevick made the tackle. And here are the Trojans, nine wins, no losses, one tie to Notre Dame. They've been very successful in the Rose Bowl. Southern Cal on the Ohio State 35. Doggy fading. There's Simpson flaring out. It's incomplete. Nearly a lateral. There's a flag down. Flag was dropped. The defensive captain of Ohio State. 15-yard penalty. Puts the ball on the 50-yard line. Holding. Ohio State out. Soggy jammed up back in his 43. The 44, Dave Whitfield, the left end, knocks him down from Massillon, Ohio, a junior. And the quickness of Ohio State is putting pressure now on the USC passing game. Five-yard return. Jankowski splits to the right. Rex Kern to his fullback. There's a hole for him. Jim Otis roaring through to the Ohio State 32. Otis averaged 4.7 a carry this year. There's that play again. Watch this hole open. Strickland and Donovan, the guard. Straight ahead. And this is the type of blocking that Southern Cal is going to have to stop. Just this one-on-one -on -one blocking. If they don't stop that, Kern will just run it right down the middle on them every time. Two first downs for Ohio State, three for Southern Cal. A little muff on the handoff from center, but Hayden rips through to the 40. Leo Hayden, a sophomore from Dayton, Ohio, carries it to his 44. The safety man, Mike Battle, had to make the tackle. Rex Kern. Lancaster, Ohio. Keeps the ball to the 50 and wriggles his way into Southern Cal territory to the Southern Cal 49, where Jim Gunn, who's playing today with two broken hands are taped up made the tackle there are 10,000 Buckeye fans here today second down three to go Ohio State and the Southern Cal 49 penalty marker down they go to the uh, 39 but a marker was dropped puts it on the Ohio State 46 motion Rex Kern looks them over straight drop back is throwing deep. He's got Zelina over his head. Zelina was open. Larry Zelina. But he's extremely quick. Third and nine. Once again, Kern back. Shoots this one out and is batted down by number 51, Bob Jensen. It was intended for Dick Kuhn. Steve Saki, who hit 58% of his passes this year, gives the ball to Simpson. Simpson is really hit there by Mark Steyer, number 54. He has in his speed. It'd be a great thing to do. On third and five, O.J. Simpson is dropped on his 16-yard line by Jim Stillwagon, the middle guard. 
Southern Cal. Low end over kick. On the 50, Galena trying to work to the near side. 45 40. And is dropped on his 38 yard line of USC. To the Southern Cal 34. Turn. Gets rid of it to the 28 yard line where it's complete. Jankowski and Zelina were spreading out, and Zelina caught the ball as they flooded that right flat. And they're short. First time they've been in this set. They've got that first down. They give it to the big fullback, Jim Otis, 210 pounds. And he carries it to the USC 25. He was first down Ohio State on the Southern Cal 25. That's Kern to the 20. And Rex Kern to the 16-yard line. On a sneak, and then he slanted, found his daylight, and ran. He's an excellent runner for a quarterback. Steen. Once again in that full house. Over the 15 and to the 14 goes fullback Jim Otis. Upset by Bill Redding, the middle guard, and Jim Snow, number 55, the linebacker. Coming in with the play. Now, once again, the full house. Kern looking incomplete at the two-yard line intended for Larry Zelina, number 16, the halfback. Zelina will try the kick. Sometimes they fake this. He's a left-handed thrower, Zelina. But he boots it from the 17, and it is no good. Jim Lawrence is a slot back. O.J. Simpson goes in motion. Penalty marker down. Doggy's pass is complete to Lawrence. And he is driven back. His forward motion stopped at his 23. There's an illegal procedure penalty, though. A legal procedure has been declined by Ohio State. It was a yard gain for USC. It is third down and seven. Two wide receivers out. The pass is to Simpson, the 40. And he was on his way when he was pulled down, met head on there by Ted Provis, number 46. And Soggy going back. He'll be finding Simpson cutting out toward the sideline. Simpson, not only a fine runner, extreme speed, and awfully good pass receiver as well. Ted Provost putting the tackle on number 46 for Ohio State. Five. O.J. hurtling to his 49-yard line where Doug Adams and Jim Stillwagon. Stillwagon, the middle guard, 68. Adams, 63, the linebacker. As a catcher for the USC National Championship team. He has Simpson flared out the 50. 45, gets down that sideline, and he's out. That's what they want to do, get him out there and isolate him one-on-one. -on -one. They really do, and when you get him out there, we'll watch it again. Watch him, he just takes a couple little steps there and then flares out around behind the blocking. And once he gets that ball in the open, you see the little move he gave. Again, Ted Provost, number 46, if he hadn't been in the spot, he'd have picked up. We'll watch that play again from a different angle, all alone. And again... Giving Jim Southern Cal on the Ohio State 37. Over the 35 to the 33 is the fullback Dan Scott, who carries the ball for the second time. With a wide slot left. Scott again, and he goes to the 30 yard line. Time to play in the first half. Simpson trying to run for that first down, and he's out on the 25. Two undefeated powerhouses of college football. Soggy keeps the ball, and Soggy is to the Ohio State 22-yard line. Soggy to Simpson, and he's down on the 19-yard line by Dave Whitfield. Simpson resets. Doggy throws it out to him with the 15 to the 10. And he's three. Jack Tatum drove him out of bounds. Goal to go, Southern California on the Ohio State three. 
And Simpson was stopped cold that time by Mike Sessenbaugh, the safety man. Well, Kyle, uh, if they start to run Simpson wider on those flare patterns, how can Ohio State stop that? Well, one way is uh, to shift their defense going to a 4-3, but once they do that, then they're gambling that he's not going to be running on that particular play, and he can probably tear up a 4-3. They have come 76 yards now in 13 plays. And again, Simpson is stopped at the four-yard line of Ohio State. Carries for Simpson already. They pitch to him. They're trying to get him wide. He throws and overthrows. He had number 19 wide open, Terry DeCry, on the halfback option pass. Looked like he didn't have a good grip on the ball when he let it go. Doggy will hold. He'll spot it at the Ohio State 11. Slight angle near side. The kick is up, and the kick is good. Now Southern California has scored first. All right, first down now. Ohio State on their 31-yard line. Turn to the fullback, Jim Otis, who brings it to the Ohio State 35. In left. Turn to Hayden. And Hayden... The 39-yard line over to the 41. Leo Hayden ripping tackles. Second down eight, Ohio State under 43. There's Jim Otis barreling through to his 49-yard line. Full house backfield. And Ray Gillian, the right halfback, stopped along the 50-yard line by Jerry Shaw, the rover back. Now for Sensabaugh. It's a booming spiral. A touchback, and USC will come out on their own 20-yard line with a first down. First down now for Southern Cal on their 20. They're ahead, three to nothing. Soggy pitching to Simpson. 25, 30. Look out! He runs 109-4. They won't get him. He's being convoyed in. 80 yards for O.J. Simpson. From a different angle. And watch this block by his fullback, Scott. Coming out on the outside. And a great cutback. And this, of course, is they were in a 4-3. Kurt Gotti mentioned a while ago what they might try. And this is the 4-3 that they have to catch them in. And they gambled. And here he is all alone. One of the great runners of collegiate football history. Watch this man weave his way through. And then that tremendous acceleration, a 9-4 man in the 100. He is the fastest player in Southern Cal football history. He does one thing that makes him great, according to his coach, John McKay. He runs with both feet close to the ground. He's not a high stepper. The kick is good by Ella. Action will continue here at the Rose Bowl. The score now, Southern California 10 and Ohio State nothing. To Hayden, Hayden over the 20 to the 30. Good run back to his 32. Seven for Ohio State in their slot left. Gillian's in there now, I wonder if Zelina's injured. Turn to the first man through to the 40 is the fullback, Jim Otis. Full house, straight tee. Otis to his 43-yard line. First down, Ohio State on their 43. Otis to the 45, 50 in the Southern Cal Territory to the Southern California 47. This is some fullback, this boy. His father was Woody Hayes' best friend. And Hayes, Hayes said, I have never quite uh, built this boy up the way I should for fear people might think I'm prejudiced because his father was my best friend. Guard. Second down now, a short yard to go for Ohio State. Leo Hayden uh, had the fake and they pitch out. That's Gillian running wide. They fake to Hayden going up the middle. Ohio State on the Southern Cal 41. Jim Otis to the 37-yard line of Southern California. Otis has made 56 yards rushing with 13 carries. Hayden has a hole over his left tackle, and he's to the Ohio uh, to the uh, Southern Cal 31. There goes Hayden ripping through the 20. And down to the 18, sophomore Leo Hayden of Dayton, Ohio. Had to be pulled down from behind by Jim Gunn, number 83. 
Ohio State on the University of Southern California 18 yard line. The pitch out to Gillian and he's trapped behind the line of scrimmage by Jim Gunn. Gunn number 83 is an end who runs the hundred and nine eight. He's very hard to get outside on third and 13 Ohio State in the Southern Cal 21. Turn the throw wide open Gillian first down goal to go Ohio State. Ray Gillian of Uniontown Pennsylvania Junior caught that one. There's that play again Kern going back faking to Hayden. In the meantime Gillian had gone down about eight yards and bent right out. First down goal to go Ohio State. Otis to the one yard line. The fullback Jim Otis. Drive began on the Ohio State 31. They have second down goal to go and Otis is over. Ohio State scores. A 69 yard drive. And they just powered their way right down the field. Watch this blocking now. You've got the right guard. Number 61 Allen Jack. Here comes Otis. In behind Rufus May 73. The center John Mulbach. Southern California 10 and Ohio State 7. Come out remaining. Soggy is going to pass it if he can. He's boxed in. He's away now. And he is stopped back on his 21. Pressure applied by Brad Nielsen and Dave Whitfield. And also Mark DeBevick, number 83. Once again, Southern Cal. Calling timeout to stop the clock. Askey, the twin safety. A high kick. Fair catch being called for. Fumble by Pulaski. And he recovers on his 40. Both teams have handled the ball well today. They've made very few mistakes in this game. And Ohio State now takes over on their 40 with a minute and four seconds to play in the first half. And they're in there scoring. Rex Kern. It's complete. Boy, he laid that one right in there. The number 80, Jan White. Perfect pass to him. The cornerback for Southern Cal. Second down, eight to go for Ohio State. They're trailing 10-7, close of the half. Jim Otis, the fullback, lugs it to the 35 of uh, Southern Cal. Ohio State team with the ball. They have a third down and a yard to go on the USC 35. Kern fires down the middle. Complete to Gillian. And Gillian. On the 16-yard line, Ray Gillian, who's caught two big passes today. 17 seconds. And Otis to the 10-yard line. And Ohio State steps in and calls time again to stop the clock with 12 seconds remaining in the first half. Turn. Fire. Batted down by Battle, who thought he had it for an interception. It was fired hard. He couldn't have quite hold on to it. But an outstanding defensive play by Mike Battle. Going to try a field goal from the 16-yard line of Southern Cal. The kick is good. With three seconds to go in the half, Ohio State has tied this game. And it is a game just like we all thought it would be. Scoring and close between these two powerhouse teams. So Ohio State now, after Simpson ran 80 yards for a touchdown, has picked up the momentum, and the last two times they've had the ball, they've moved against USC. So the first half ends in a tie, 10 to 10. USC had a 10 nothing lead on a field goal and an 80 yard touchdown run by OJ Simpson. Ohio State came back on a 69 yard drive to score, and then they kick a field goal with seven seconds remaining in the half. Here's a touchdown run, Kyle, again. For and we'll take a look at that. Watch this cutback, and this is what makes him so dangerous. Not only with the great balance, he's, he's shaking arm tackles there. Now watch when he gets out here. He'll slip just a little. Then that great acceleration. Bob Klein running along, giving him... A little escort service there. Incidentally, O.J. Simpson accounted for 187 yards in that first half, 135 rushing and 52 yards on three pass receptions. 
He scored two touchdowns for USC in the Rose Bowl last year. And now there's uh, President-elect Nixon who will be going to the sideline and will be escorted by Governor Rhodes of Ohio to the middle of the field. And then Governor Reagan will take him over. And here is Ohio State's touchdown. Otis the full by getting an excellent block from Alan Jack, 61, his right. There are the stats, Kyle. And Ohio State having a little edge in yards gained on the ground, 148 to 128. Southern Cal, a slight edge in yards gained passing, 65 to 61. Incidentally, O.J. Simpson had 138 yards himself, but because of some yardage lost by quarterback Steve Soggy on some of the pass plays, it brought down their net yardage down to 128. Jim Lawrence to the right. Soggy fires, and it is complete. Jim Lawrence, who was flanked to the right, went out of bounds on the 40-yard line, or let's see, 40, right on to 40. Second down, 10. Southern Calendar, 43. Soggy in the draw to Simpson. The 45 to the 50. Simpson finally spun down on the Ohio State 43-yard line and run with both feet close to the ground. And Simpson fills all four of those. There's the pitch out, a fumble. He dies. Who's got it? Ohio State recovers. Simpson died, but since the ball was on it, that's the first fumble lost in this game, play in the third period. Running through is Leo Hayden, and he's been a good runner in that sophomore tailback spot today. Mike Battle and Jerry Shaw, the rover back and the safety man hit him. Or they may go to him. Hayden has averaged better than seven yards a carry in this game. Turn on the keeper, and turn is tackled for a loss. Al Cowling, 72, and Willard Scott, 71. Cowling's uh, high school sweetheart. He introduced her to O.J. Now fourth down and seven, and turn throwing, kicking loose to the 30. He's dropped down by number 46, Jerry Shaw, who made the key play. Jerry Shaw has made more key plays defensively than anyone else for the Trojans this year, and he made a big one. Had he not nipped teams of the Southwest Conference, did all right for themselves here on this New Year's Day. Here's the fullback. Pops loose out of bounds, though. And Scott, and, uh, and they're 39. A little different set this time. They're out of the eye. Scott trying to get the first down. He's over the 40 and to the 41, and it appears that USC has it. Dickerson flank to the right, Lawrence to the left. Pitches to Simpson. And there's a marker down. That's going to be on the fullback, Scott, who broke through there. He saw that the pitch out went a little awry, and Simpson was reaching out for the ball. Charging through there was Jack Tatum, the rover back. And Scott trying to get to Tatum. They have a first down now and 31 yards to go. The pass to Simpson at the 30, and he gets most of it back as he's run out of bounds on the USC 39 by Mike Sessenbaugh, number three, the safety man of Ohio State. Shoot it. And they've got one. Third down, 12. Doggy trying to get out of trouble, and he's hit by number 74. Paul Schmidlin, the junior tackle of Toledo, Ohio. Whitfield was also in there, but it was Schmidlin, number 74, who made the tackle. They averaged 38 yards a kick in this game, and this one, they had to rush on him. The short kick. And is stopped on the 47 of Ohio State. Putting a rush on with 77, Brad Nielsen, to force a bad kick. The fence. He keeps it, takes the option, and he has the first down. Two undefeated teams. 
Gillian over the 35 and Gillian to the 32 of Southern Cal for in the secondary battle 17 and young 15 had a team up to bring him down get three men out in front of him now short yardage the full house T and there is Otis the fullback going behind that blocking of Donovan Mulebach and Strickland who have been opening a, the way for him a wedge right in front of him and Ohio State has a first down on the Southern Cal 20 well, just blowing them out of there first down Ohio State and there they go again inside this time it's Leo Hayden the swift sophomore tailback turn to Hayden there's that hole open again he's over the 20 into the Southern Cal 17 Leo Hayden ball as well as he can Hayden has now averaged seven yards a carry has 77 yards and 11 carries the fullback has hit that time. Otis stopped by number 55 who blitzed him. He shot the gap. Snow number 55 and dropped him in the third period. They've controlled the ball on the clock. Turn off to Hayden. That's been a very effective play for them all day. And Hayden's to the 10 yard. And it's a very deep type of a draw play. Watch Kern go back. This is Hayden coming in and he breaks off to the left side virtually no defender within five yards of that line of scrimmage. They have a third and three on the Southern Cal 10. Turn keeps the ball and just gets to the eight yard line. Faking the Otis up the middle faking the pitch on the option and then keeping and running inside. Long is holding. And here's the kick from the 15. It is up and it is good. And Ohio State takes the lead. One minute to play in the third period. Soggy under the gun. Fumbles. Ohio State recovers. This has just been raw power for Ohio State here. Turn to Hayden. Faking, giving off. There's Kern. What a fake by Kern. Kern going back, faking to Hayden. He fooled everybody in the ballpark, and he kept the ball. Watch this, Kyle. Here it is again, making a beautiful fake to Leo Hayden. Sets up, now right back up the middle. Picks up John Mulbach. Third and four for an Ohio State touchdown. Kern throws to Hayden. Touchdown, Leo Hayden. USC 10. Down. Doggy sets up out to Simpson. Simpson fumbles at the Ohio State. Recovery. Steyer hit him and jarred the ball loose. I believe since the ball recovered. Went out of bounds. Seven sophomores in the starting offensive team. Kern dumps it off to Gillian at the 10. Gillian is in for the touchdown. Play again. Kern going back. Gillian coming in from his little slot back position. Just a little delay and then right down the line behind the USC defensive line. Here he is, just that little delay. Then moving over in behind. Well, this boy Gillian is a junior, and he's done a big job today. He stepped in for Larry Zelina, a starting sophomore slot back or wing back. Who's been behind. Doggy's pass to Klein. The end is completed to the 39 yard line of the Trojans where Tim Anderson made the tackle on Bob Klein from Pacific Palisades a senior Teams have been better this year than the coaching staff thought they would be before the season started soggy running the sneak and gives Southern Cal a first down on the Southern Cal 43 they're isolated alone soggy setting up deep fires to the far side Klein catches the ball at the 45 of Ohio State Covington at fullback. 
Second down eight. Soggy again out of the pocket. Firing deep for Dickerson. Intercepted by Sessenbaugh. Mike Sessenbaugh to the 20, to the 30, to the 40, 50. And it's finally hit there. A flag is dropped back on the 38 of Ohio State. They dropped the flag. And there's that play again. Soggy going back, throwing deep for Dickerson. Coming right in in time to make the interception. Mike sends the ball, number three. And he does some pretty good running here, picking up some good blocks also. Finally brought down by Jack O'Malley. Third and ten. Turn over the middle to Gillian. That same play that went for the touchdown. And Gillian out to the 28. There's the same play that Ohio State just scored their last touchdown on. And then a young quarterback, the sophomore quarterback. Incidentally, you'll see the the net type of jersey that the Buckeyes. Ray Gillian, a junior from Uniontown, Pennsylvania. The Super Bowl, the Baltimore Colts against the New York Jets. You see to tell you the story. 2.30 Eastern Time. Turn to Leo Hayden. Jim Gunn, the end drop off, number 83, and made the tackle. You know, this uh, 100th year of football, it'll start the centennial. They're right, as the wide men. O.J. Simpson powers his way over the 40 into the 43-yard line of USC. It's good for a Southern Cal first down. He has a total of 153 yards rushing. Come on, baby, we ain't done yet. Just under five minutes to play. Soggy running out of the pocket to the 40, to the 45, to the 50, and into Ohio State territory to the Ohio State 48. Both coming out with Simpson when he comes out. Soggy a flip to Klein, the tight end, and Klein skips out of bounds on the Ohio State 44. There goes O.J. to the 40 and to the 38. Arenthal James. And that name given to him by an aunt who suggested it, who admired an actor by that name. A rental James Simpson, better known now as O.J. They are now, which is ideal to run again. Third down and four. It's to Dickerson at the 20. Dickerson has a first down at the 18. And the clock. Doggy again. Trying to get away. He does. Nice scrambling. The pass is complete at the 11-yard line. And leaping up there to grab that one is number nine, Bob Chandler. Chandler's out, and Lawrence back in his slot back. Soggy pitches to Simpson. He throws a pass, and it is... That's Sessenbaugh intercepting. Check that. Looks like uh, 26, Tim Anderson. He and Pulaski were fighting for the ball. And another interception. The uh, bug has seen a bunch of sophomores make history here today as a kick by Sensodot. Chases battle to his 34. Runs it to the 40. And nearly broke that one. He finally hit down on his 48-yard line. Very Ireland. We've all done such a great job of organizing and getting this game ready and putting on the air for you. There's O.J. Simpson taking a pass. Passes to Simpson, and he's out on the 35-yard line. The NCAA earlier this season. Soggy back again. To the sideline, it's completed on the 28. To Bob Klein, the tight end. And that stops the clock with a minute and three to go. Second down, 10 to go. O.J. Simpson goes inside the Ohio State 20 to the Ohio State 18. And uh, USC in to stop the clock again. Third down. Lobbing this one deep for Dickerson. And it is Pulaski who caught the ball. Now did he catch it in the end zone or out? And they want to call another official who looked at it from the angle. Pulaski, number 15, was covering Dickerson. Did he have both feet in that end zone when he caught the ball? Yeah, 
Soggy throwing, and it's incomplete. Went right through Jim Lawrence's hands on the try for point. This is that long, controversial pass. Look at it from a different angle. And the ruling was at the bar. Ohio State, for five seconds, some of the fans already pouring out in the field. Three, two, one. The Ohio State Buckeyes have won the Rose Bowl 27 to 16 and strengthened their hold as the number one college football team in the country. So the final score, Ohio State 27, Southern Cal 16.